Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Discourse. I'm not 100% certain what kind of game this is, but at the same time, I, I think it's like a choose-your-own-adventure game, a silly version of Lost, I don't know, I, I've looked into it a little bit, but I want to go into this blind, because there's some really cool stuff that it, uh, I think is in this game. Okay, so Passport, Indie Island, bonus story coming soon. That might actually be DLC stuff, but we're going to be playing as Rita. Okay, name, Rita, gender, female. Date of birth, 226, 1990. Nationality, locally sourced. Height, not quite venti. Education, BFA, not available. Hometown, Gransville. Employer, jittering, Java. Occupation, barista, artist. Enjoys web flicks, earplugs, quiet and uneventful flights. Okay, so part of the reason why I'm super interested in this game is, uh, if you don't know me, I am an artist. And so, Rita, also an artist, I don't know, not very often that you get to play a game where, uh, artists. Anyway, uh, looks like left stick to move, action is space, and recommended headphones. Sounds good. I'm actually not used to choose your own adventure games using a controller, but honestly, this is not a bad, uh, bad thing at all. Let's get going. Okay, bon voyage, the paths you forge are your own. Choose wisely. So, we might actually have to do a couple of playthroughs of this game just to see all that there is to see. Anyway. <laughs> Ugh, my brain feels like it went through a coffee grinder. Feels like I've been lying out here for hours. There's all this crap on the beach. Wait, a plane crash? But I was... oh no. Alright, stay calm, Rita. Rita has a manly voice. Now, one of the reasons why I was super interested in this game was because the visual style on this is amazing. It is... I mean, it's like very cut papery. Jesus cold. This is definitely salt water. Great. Okay, so, the visual style of this game is... honestly kind of amazing. It's... uh-oh. They're closing in on us. Huh? What the heck was that? Alright, so I've got a frying pan, apparently. I should go check out that noise. Uh, not yet. Let's go see what else we can find in this small little area first. But the visual style is just flat out amazing. Yeesh. Glad I wasn't in that seat. It doesn't look like I can go this way. Okay. But yeah, visual style is amazing, and honestly, now that I'm listening to the music, it is equally amazing. Holy crap. I'm glad I got to try this game out. Let's see how it turns out, though. They're calling for backup. We're totally surrounded! Make sure you aim for their eyes! It'll scramble the chips in their brains. Doesn't even matter. We're done for. Steve, somebody else is approaching. You're probably here to feast on us, just like these crabs. What? Are you talking about me? You're totally clueless, aren't you, Teddy? Hey, lady! Now might be a good time to help us. Seriously, they're just crabs. How did this happen? Alright, I'm coming. That's a sarcastic response. Seriously? They're just crabs. This shouldn't really be a problem. We did something ourselves, but we're afraid to make any sudden movements. Besides, all I have on me is a stupid stapler from my office. Why the hell would they let you have a stapler on a plane? Anyway, I got my trusty metal detector on me. But it'll definitely attack if I pull it out. Just get over here and help me. What? No, come here. I might as well try and put this frying pan to good use. Uh... I guess you get to choose which one of these guys is safe first. Well, this guy's got the metal detector. Uh, let's attack the crabs with the frying pan. Well, that just made things worse. Good. Okay, well, got him to stop attacking me. I'm doomed. They no doubt have a sample of my DNA now. Ugh, my legs are all torn up. Ooh, ooh, they are, actually. Okay, well, let's get back to camp. The others will want to meet. Uh, I didn't catch your name. It's Rita. Wait, there are other survivors? Yeah, they're farther inland. I'm Steve, by the way. My name is Teddy. Alright, let's get going. So, this looks like a very... Oh, hey, I'm actually in control here. This is a very choose-your-own-adventure type game. Uh, honestly, kind of Walking Dead style, maybe? But it seems like a lot of the options are kind of anti-options, where you do it and the wrong thing happens, which is kind of interesting. Anyway... Are you ready to head to camp? Yeah, let's go. Doesn't look like there's anything around the, on the beach anyway. Do you think it's a little risky to take the stranger back? 
What if she's just a bunch of crabs in a human suit? You were an only child, weren't you, Teddy? No, my brother was human. I think we'll be fine. Let's go, Rita. Oh, I feel bad for uh for Teddy and his his legs. I've already forgotten the other guy's name, but I'll just call him Massive Hair. Look, another survivor. What? I thought we were the only ones. Heavens to Betsy, come have a seat. That's a nice fan fire animation. Okay, you must have been out for hours. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's good. None of us seem to have been injured in the crash. What's your name? Rita. I'm Jolene. The lump over there with the mustache, that's my husband, George. Hi. I love it how these characters are talking in pretty much simlish. It's great. I also love the character designs. It is quirky as all get out. And that means we're probably not going to survive considering we don't have, you know, a jack or a lock or a freaking... I don't even know. I haven't... I never watched Lost, so I'm not exactly up to par on my island survival people. Uh, but luckily, we don't seem to have a, a, a Wilson anywhere. Is it Win Wilson or is it Winslow? I don't even know. Uh, but we don't have any boxed volleyballs around here, so I think our sanity is going to be okay. Anyway, uh, online I'm known as Nebulord90, but you can call me Garrett. All he's been doing is playing games with his stupid handheld video machine. Hey, where are we? None of us are really sure. All we know is we're on an island. This island is pretty big. We have no clue what to do. Uh, what kind of stuff could be on the other side? There's a mountain off in the distance, but it's a long hike away. We have no idea what's over there. We started making the best of your situation. I got this fire belt and we started on some shelter. So far, all we got for food is a pile of pretzels from off the plane. Jeez Louise and sweet cream cheese. Oh no, those pretzels are our only food. Oh darn, they're going to be such a well-balanced meal for us. What if more of those... those pig monsters are out there? Rita, you come with George and me. Let's go get this boar. I don't think that's the best idea. It's not like we have weapons to hunt them. My George has his old fishing pole. He can thwap them with that. And suppose you're going to throw that bulky camera of yours at them? Well, I'll do what needs to be done. We need to stay here and defend the re few resources we have left. Come along, Georgie. I don't have time for this, and I don't trust these hoodlums. Rita, are you ready? Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go after it. It's pig time! Actually, yeah, <laughs> let's get at it. It's bacon making time. I'm pretty close. Anyway, yeehaw! That a girl. Wait, hold on a second. You're just gonna leave the three of us alone? Uh, don't worry, he'll be fine. Don't worry, Garrett. You still have half the group left. You guys will be fine. What are we supposed to do if it something attacks us here? Ugh. Y'all are brave as a bar of soap. Uh, let's... I mean, there's not really much of a camp, is there? So let's, let's go with hide. Just hide. Keep yourself safe. It won't be long until we get back. That doesn't sound like a very solid plan. Just stick your head in the sand, like one of the them emus. I think I'll use a bush or something instead. George and Rita, let's get moving. A. The cowards probably aren't worth defending. B. These two seem like the most competent members of the party right now. There it is. We need to be careful, or we'll run away again. Maybe I can stun it with my camera flash. I got my trusty fishing pole. Too bad it broke in the crash. I might be able to hit him with it. Alright, what's the plan? Hang on, I'm thinking. Uh, flash the camera. We got a frying pan. That's our weapon. Jolene, flash the board with your camera. Maybe you'll stun it. Flashing the camera when it's looking away isn't a good idea. Uh, you're probably right. Good call. This is a bad idea. Uh, throw frying pan. I'm gonna throw my frying pan at it. Are you sure that's a good idea? Can you really throw it this far? Uh, I think I can do it. Don't worry about this, Jolene. I got this. And... Aw, oh, man. What was that? Do you really think you're gonna hit the board with the frying pan? I guess I'm not as strong as I thought. Whoops. It's getting late. I think the hunt has lost is a lost cause at this point. Let's get ourselves back to camp. Maybe the others will have better news. Let's go get our frying pan back. This is kind of stupid to throw this. You know, you'd think you could sneak up and smack them around. Yep, not a trace of them. Those boars sure are fast. Let's get, let's jet, honey. Yeah, let's go. I'm loving I'm loving the narrative thus far. I'm loving the uh, the music. God, the music in this game. I'd almost say is almost as good as the art. Okay, finally, you guys shouldn't have left us. What happened here? 
Uh, yeah, there's definitely more than just that one boar. Oh, you, you all just belly aching. What even happened? More boars showed up. We needed everyone here. You shouldn't have listened to Jolene. We need to stay together, Rita. It's like they have a hive mind. It's all part of a bigger plan. The first boar was a distraction so the others could feast upon our flesh. We hid like you suggested, Rita. Nobody was hurt, but the boars made off with our pretzel bags. Plus, it doesn't look like you guys have brought anything back. It's my fault. I'm sorry, everyone. We lost the boar because of me. Doesn't matter whose fault it is. We all fail. You all failed. Let's just get some rest. Look, let's just leave this be. Tonight we'll focus on resting and prepared, preparing for tomorrow. I guess we don't have much of a choice, do we? This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Well, we set up a bit of a shelter earlier this morning. Grab a torch and we'll show you the shelter we made. Uh, torch? Torch? Hey, where'd my frying pan go? Quick on. Rita, pull a torch out of the fire to light our way over to the tents. Oh. Fair enough. Generally, I do not stick my hands in the fire. Period. Wow, you guys actually put together a pretty decent shelter, all things considered. I guess this is our home until we get rescued. This torch won't last forever, but I should have enough time to talk to a few people. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk to these two. This is going to be like the time George and I went camping on the beaches of South America. That sounds like an adventure. Oh, the stories I can tell. We've spent many nights together under the stars like this. Why don't you and George sleep next to each other? Oh, what an odd question to ask. I'm sure I, sorry I shouldn't have. No, it's okay, dear. He has this awful snoring habit. I can't sleep anywhere near him. You know. We could have killed that boar. I don't think. Why don't you leave the hunting to us country folk? And you stick to whatever it is you city folk do. I was just trying to help. Next time, why don't you just keep your help to yourself? You bitch. Okay. I'm ready for a good night of sleep. And we'll see how sleeping on the sand goes. I suppose we can't be too picky. Jolene mentioned that you snore really loudly in your sleep. Is this something we should be worried about? Oh, fooey, it ain't that bad. Jolene has just started complaining about it recently. I never used to be an issue for her. I don't know why it's such a big deal lately. I see. Man, I wish we could have gotten that boar. Yeah, it was a little harder than I expected. What do you expect? The thing as big as you are. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to do it. Reminds me of my wrestling... Reminds me of wrestling my cousins back on the farm. I was yo younger than all of them. That didn't stop me from putting up a fight, though. Did you ever win? Once in a blue moon. Now that I think about it, though, they probably just let me win so I wouldn't quit. This torch won't last for much longer. I can probably sneak in one more chat. Uh, let's talk to... God, none of these guys are competent, are they? Let's talk to him. I bet you've never been in an adventure like this before. Virtual reality is pretty advanced these days, though it doesn't hold a torch to these past hours. We can't exactly emulate starvation or dying. And we're probably going to die out here. No extra lives or save games to help us out. I'm not gonna die. That's not gonna happen. Somebody's going to come along and rescue us. Those boars are crazy huge, though. Those things are definitely not to be messed with. Normally, boars are one of the easiest enemies in games. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I leveled it up. I would level up if I killed one. Yeah, I bet that was intense when they invaded. We maybe could have put up a fight if we had all been there. I thought Jolene, George, and I were doing something more useful. This adventure is hard. That's for certain. Well, time to regenerate my hit points. Good night. Torch is too low. Time to, get to sleep. Okay. Doesn't look very comfortable, but I guess it'll have to serve me for the night. What are you talking about? Sleeping on the beach is actually really comfortable. Except for the fact that it's probably going to be horribly cold. Anyway, might as well try and get some shut-eye. I'm really curious about how a second playthrough of this game would be. Or a third. Because it seems like there's a lot of options that, like, we can go through a second time around to see if anything changes. Anyway. Huh. Looks like we actually made it through the first night alive. Yay. I'm ready to get some things done today. I don't think you should be doing anything today. What? What do you mean? All you did yesterday was make things more difficult by leaving. Well, I'm gonna help y'all. You might need me. Fine if you insist. I've got a headache already without having to argue with you. 
Maybe somebody planted something in your brain while you were asleep. Which one of you was it? Speak up. I suspect Garrett. Huh? Why me? Alright guys, I think I just need some coffee. Caffeine withdrawal makes me feel like I'm in college again. Drinking something usually helps. Not salt water. I'm gonna go check the wreckage for supplies. Maybe my string of bad luck will end. Who knows? Maybe there may be some water from the plane as well. We need a signal for help if we ever plan on being saved. Uh, let's see. Fresh water is probably more important. If we don't find the water that we can drink, if we don't find water that we can drink, we won't last very long. Well, why don't you see if there's a lake or something? On a desert island? Then Boar's got to be drinking something. Why don't you take Garrett or with you, Rita? He seems like he could use an adventure. What? I, uh... Alright, you ready to go, Garrett? Uh, I guess. I'll come with you as well. I'm no stranger to dealing with animals. Alright, sounds good with me. We're never gonna get off this island. This is ridiculous. I'll just stay back and watch the camp then. No, dude, you could probably go set up your SOS. Or, you know, just make sure it's a smoky fire. You know, it's too bad that my rusty, uh, trusty fishing pole got broken in the crash. If we actually found a pond or something, we could have gone fishing with it. The only thing of mine that survived the crash was my game brick. Clung onto Bricky with my life. Don't know what I would do without her. Is that toy there? That toy there is your life? What? How dare you? Shh, it's okay, Bricky. The scary mustache man didn't mean it. Alright guys, let's focus. We're here to find water. It's hopeless. There's no water out here. Let's not give up yet. There's gotta be a trace of water around here. Let's split up in search of the vicinity. God, this music is amazing. What's this? Fry an egg on this. Man, sunny side up would hit the spot right now. Just another crack in the dusty crown. Looks completely dry. Ah, uh, it's not much cool in the shade. I am roasting out here. The scarf probably isn't helping. You know, probably could take that off. What is this? Oh, what are these? Animal tracks. They look pretty fresh, too. Animals need to drink, too. I bet if we follow these, we'd find water. Yeah, let's follow them. Alright, we're off. Come on, Garrett. I feel like, uh... It might actually take me quite a couple of playthroughs to actually get get this right properly the first time around. Oh, well, shouldn't be too bad. Honestly, I'm enjoying playing this. It's gorgeous. And the music is really nice to listen to. I wonder if uh, I can get the soundtrack somewhere. There's water. Wait, I think I just saw something move in there. I doubt it was anything. Garrett, why don't you get down there and scoop up some of that tasty water up? But I... Now's your chance to prove yourself to the team. I guess. Uh... Sure. Alrighty then. This is probably not going to go well. Okay, I've got three bottles full here. And he's got leeches. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Uh, don't freak out. Listen, just stay calm and don't freak out. That's what people say when you should really freak out. Ah, leeches! Ah! Yikes, that looks like it really hurt. Is he out cold? I'll take a look. How many fingers do you see? Bah, I'm a ghost. You're not dead, Garrett. I never said I was dead. I said I'm a ghost. Uh, whatever you say. He's talking even stranger than normal. He must have hit his head pretty hard. Yeah, this might be bad. Well, we got the water. We should get back to camp. Let's get moving. Come on, Garrett. I like his character design, too. I mean, yeah, greasy nerd and whatnot, but still. Okay, let's talk to him for a second. Yeah? Uh... Just making sure you're okay. Nice of you to check in, Elvis. I'm fine. I dig your music, by the way. Well, Probably should have said something about a sand wizard, but that might have made things even worse. Anyway, so ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Come on, Garrett, we need to get moving. Is it our legs that move, or the earth around us? Gee, he seems really out of it. Hopefully we'll be able to get him back to camp without him passing out. I don't think I could carry him. I could, but I certainly don't want to. Anyway, let's go.
Well, we have made a string of horrifying de decisions that have only resulted in worse and worse situations for us. Ugh. What's wrong, Garrett? Sorry. The wound that Warlock gave me is slowing me down. What are you babbling about now, boy? Oh no, can't you see? It must be an illusionary shroud. Uh, let's rest here for a moment. Garrett's clearly tired. Let's just take a quick breather. As long as it's quick, it'll be dark soon. The water back there sure reminded me of the smell of the pond back on our farm. It's wild. <laughs> Things that we took for granted. Do you enjoy farming? Well, to be honest with you, it was sort of just the family business. I didn't really have much of a plan as a kid. I just kind of figured it would all work out. Yeah, it's kind of where I'm at. Hoping for a little luck. I don't really believe in luck. It seems to favor those who work hard. I wouldn't really call that luck. Exactly. Blah -ha -ha. What's going on? I was scaring the warlocks away. Alright, I think it's time we gotta move on. Come on, Garrett. Let's get back to camp. Well, at least we don't have to carry him. I would love to do this, actually, get a crew of voice actors together. I wonder how well that would work. Unfortunately, I do not know a whole lot of ladies here, especially old ones. Oh, well, we got the water. We did? Yes, Garrett, you hit your head, but we're back at camp now. I remember beasts that feed off the lifeblood of their victims. I was covered by swarms of them. A couple of leeches, huh? Well, uh... Doesn't matter. Garrett did his part. Anyway, here, everybody should take a drink. So you didn't bring anything back, Steve? Actually, I think we found something, but I need some help getting to it. A lot of that wreckage was too heavy for me to lift. Well, maybe we can look into it tomorrow. I'm telling you guys, we need to try and make contact with the outside world. Maybe, Teddy, but there's a lot of stuff we have to do if we want to stay alive. Like alchemy. We should all learn alchemy. Ha! Ha! He really is out of it, isn't he? Yeah. Hopefully this goes away soon. Maybe a good night's rest will help him. I'll grab a torch. We should find our way over to the tent. I'm really enjoying this thus far. This is way more... Well, I mean, this is plenty quirky, which is exactly what I was kind of hoping for, and I'm, re I'm really enjoying the quirkiness of it all. And the music, the the, the visuals are perfect. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk to a couple people before we end this. So, Rita, my best friend in all the world, you're the finest lumberjack I've ever had the pleasure to meet. I hope you know that. Like, really know that. Ugh. This nonsense talk is getting old quickly. Garrett, you really need to get some sleep. Will you tell me a bedtime story? You tell the best stories. I'm not gonna do that, Garrett. Please, just go to sleep. Hehe. <laughs> you said sleep. Oh, he's gone. Let's talk to these two. I've kinda neglected them long enough. Sure would be good if we could get that stuff under that wreckage. Maybe George can do it. He worked on a farm. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I'm gonna sleep it off. I'm telling you, we must come up with a way to signal those passing boats and things. Maybe we can get around to that tomorrow. The longer we wait, the more opportunities we may, we may miss. Yeah, you're right. I suppose that makes sense. We'll have to take care of it tomorrow. Good. I'm glad you're seeing it my way. Now, let's get some wet rest. I concur. Torch is too low. It's time for me to get some sleep. So the unfortunate part is, like, you got six people in this group. You'd think you'd be able to spe s send three for one, three for the other. It's not like you really need to defend camp, considering... There's nothing to defend. We're out of food. Also, why are the days and nights, like, one activity only? These people must live on, like, uh, the five-hour island. Anyway, man, what a day. Might as well try and get some shut-eye. And with that, I will actually see you guys on the next episode of Discourse, where we will continue to uh, lead this intrepid brand of uh, complete failures. And hopefully, maybe we can find some food, maybe we can find some... I don't even know what we'll be able to find. Uh... Have a blast doing it. This game is really good, and I'm in, I'm really enjoying it thus far. It is really unique, and it's a nice choose-your-own-adventure game. I'm curious about how playing through it a second time around would go, purely because um, I don't know if any of the choices I actually make make any difference here. I, I'm a little bit conditioned by Telltale, where every decision is almost completely meaningless in the grand scheme of things. But you know what? This game might actually have branching paths. 
or everything could all, always just kind of loop back into itself, which would be kind of disappointing. Anyway, if you like this uh, uh, first episode, the impressions, uh, sort of, I, I, I guess it's kind of hard, hard to exactly call this a first impressions video because I did most of my time just reading out dialogue, but I, I guess I might as well talk. I, I've talked glowingly about the, you know, the, the visuals, the music, the, the writing is great, the plot thus far is kind of interesting. I, I'm really looking forward to more of it, and honestly, uh, if any of you guys enjoy story-based games, if you like Telltale games, I think this would be a perfect addition, if not expansion, onto your library, because I, I think this tells a different kind of story, and that's a really good thing. So, uh, back to the rigmarole. Uh, if you like this video in any way, shape, and form, leave me a like, it helps more than you know, and lets me know you want to see more of it. If you have any questions, or if you have any suggestions, or if you find something out, like, I really did doof up and everybody's going to die, well, leave a comment below and I will, uh, well, take it into consideration and, uh, try and save these poor mooks one way or another. Hey, maybe there's no actual way of failure. I don't know. And, uh, well, if you want to see more Discourse or any other indie, uh, impressions type games, uh, well, well, hit subscribe because I do a lot of these. And, uh, well, with that, I will see you guys on the next episode of Discourse. I, uh, so this is going to be the first episode, which won't be live, but... Everything thereafter is probably going to be streamed on my Twitch channel as well, just because it seems like this would be a perfect, perfect game to do with a bunch of people uh, watching. So, like I was saying, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Discourse, and as always, thanks for watching.